why, why are we here? Okay, well, we're, we're basically, we're here to make um, a series of vignettes in Romania about positive tourism and fantastic attractions and things to see in Romania. And we're also here to make episode two and episode three of Wild Carpathia, following on from the first program, which you may have seen with Prince Charles. So he's actually committed to being in episode three, which we're filming at the moment. And uh, we are including Cluj and a journey across uh, the Maramuris and over to Bukovina. And so we're going to be possibly including Kurda as a location you can come and see from Cluj. And we're also focusing on the Cluj Botanical Gardens as a way of understanding the flora of the Carpathians and getting an insight into that. So it's largely based around nature, but then also there's cultural tourism as well. And Cluj is very high on the priority for cultural tourism because there's amazing art scene there, fantastic restaurants and galleries and artists and theatre. So we're including that as an added attraction that people can, can experience when they come in. Okay, the conclusions? My conclusions? When we are coming up. From Romania? No, from this. From this? Okay. I, I can talk about that when I've come out. <laughs> I have not been down there yet, so it's going to be very hard. I could, I could imagine it, but I couldn't tell you my impressions. No, no, he's at yeah. that. He, yeah, so he'll when have we the come back, yeah? when okay, we get fine, back, no yeah, he's waiting. Yeah, yeah? Okay, next up, cool. that's Punak and Tatjmas. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> you, you will join us okay, anyway. Good. Right. Okay. You will join us at the. Uh, în campionul mondial nu e. Nu 
Ce să las pe ochi? Tu ce stii cum poate spus? Si noi am organizat in cheie, in concluzie pe toate. Să le trimitem noi niște poze, nimeni nu vreau niciodată. to send meters of out of walls in the surface of the mine to be, to be the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably outside, will be. Yeah. Even if it was sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could do fresh sushi platters, bring down what you have there, and it's in an enclosed space. <laughs> How was it? How was it? How was Turda Salt Mine? Turda Salt Mine was extraordinary. It's nothing I've ever seen before. The scale of it is awesome. You don't imagine it to be as big as that. Mm -hmm. And the echo chamber, the, the sheer size of the cave, the cavern. Have you seen something like this? I've seen a salt cathedral uh, in Colombia, but it wasn't, it wasn't as, on a, such a grand scale as that. And what I love is that it's the, the design, the architecture down there has been done beautifully. Mm -hmm. and you've got a framework in place from which you can build. Um, do you want to get that? I have that ringtone sometimes as well. I love it. <laughs> Back in black! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, to see a big wheel, to see a ferris wheel inside a cave is in its, in its own right extraordinary. I think I'd like to see, I mean, you could almost have an underground sort of an underground town there, with maybe a hotel in the future, and all sorts of other things going on, and, and, and even more treatments, and people could go down there and spend a couple of days just right. breathing it in. Uh, I, I think there's a huge potential, and it already is. You know, we have the project for the hotel nearby. Yeah. yeah, but I mean one day maybe people can even stay underground down there. It would be it would be fun, like a sort of total underground city uh, with all kinds of things. Because the air, every time you take a breath, that's why I'd recommend to anybody who goes down there to to try and take the stairs, because you get the body going, you get the lungs expanding, and you get this amazing air into your lungs, and you just feel a lot healthier when you come back up. So there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much My for pleasure. your visit. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thank you for, for showing us around. Hope to see you soon. We will be back. Yeah.